What is this? <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to another Pokemon Days! We've got a Groudon with leftover Stealth Rock, pretty bulky. There's a bitchy Vaporeon that we faced in the last video, Jesus Christ, I hate it. Yveltal's uh, looking pretty taunty and bulky too, and Masquerade might come in handy, maybe, perhaps, probably not. Rock Polish Regia is sweet. Seismitoad also has Stealth Rock Toxic. Pretty bulky team we've got here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire off a Fire Punch, because, no, he was an Ice type, but he ran away because he saw what was coming. Uh, at least we burned the Soul Rock that came in. I think now is a good time to set up the Stealth Rocks, because why not? And he goes for the Willow Wisp, which is gonna cripple my ground on in a bad way. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna roar and hopefully figure out what some more of his team is. There's a hit on top there, which is a spinner, unfortunately. Um, we'll see what he does, I suppose. Go for the Earthquake. That does nothing with the Reflect and the Burn, and he Rapid Spins away my rocks. I'm gonna set them up in an attempt to get him to Rapid Spin again. Um, hopefully he might KO me. Oh yeah, with the crit, fucking A. So now his defense is dropped, I'm gonna die with the burn and get a free switch in, which is gonna be super sweet. I need to pull him out of there, so probably Yveltal's the better, ch the better choice, because he does have Hurricane, which hits the special side. So I'm gonna get him in there, see what's gonna happen, and uh, yeah, we really only have one attacking move, so. 70% accuracy, let's hope it happens, fuck yeah! Those rocks are staying up for sure. That is very nice. Good job, Dark Bird Thing from X and Y, which I haven't really played too much of because I'm poor and DS, um, Noah 40. But that's all right. We got Pokemon Online, Pokemon Showdown. He's He seems really pissed. He's thinking hard about what to do next. Every time he brings that Bear Arctic in, it's gonna take 25% from those stealth rocks, so he can't switch it in too much, and meanwhile I'm able to switch my my characters around freely because I have no rocks on my side of the field. Mahaha! That soul rock might have it. Let's start the timer. Oh there it goes. <laughs> Alright. Bear Arctic's out here again. I'm kinda scared. Um Vaporeon would probably be a smart switch. But fuck it, I'm gonna taunt it because I think it's gonna sword stance or set up a sub or do something predicting the switch. And he doesn't at all! <laughs> Stone Edge right in my fucking face. Uh, that's pretty bad. We do have the Roost though, which will negate the super effectiveness as long as it doesn't crit. Yeah, it's still doing a heavy amount of damage. I think I'm gonna pull this guy out of here. And we could get a pretty good switch in the Seismitoad since Ground does resist. The rock type attack, and it's not even same type attack bonus. So yeah, not too bad. I think it is choice banded. It's hitting pretty heavy for a resisted attack. Um, I'll go for the skull, I suppose, and try and burn this dude. But he brings in the Carnivine, which is a big threat to my Seismitoad. Hopefully burn. Yes, burn! Burn! Ah, oh, so that thing's significantly crippled by the burn. I'm going to bring the Yvelto back in here and uh, see if we can't... Oh, he goes for the Sleep Powder. Well, I'm gonna let him go for the Sleep Powder again and go for a Roost, because I don't think he can really knock me down from full HP the, the way that uh, Bear Arctic was able to. So, uh, that burn is ticking away on him. Pretty nice. Go for the Hurricane when we wake up, and ooh, he gets the Sword Stance going, which is fucking terrifying, actually, because uh, I don't have anything that resists normal-type attacks. Which is basically all Carnivine has besides Grass type attacks, and there was a Dark type knock knockoff, but his move pool is pretty limited if you have like a Steel type or something strong. Wake up, Hurricane in your face! The I was able to survive that knockoff relatively easily, be even with the Sword Dance because he was burned. So we'll go for the Hurricane here. We fucked it up horribly. Icicle crashed in my face. Goodbye, Yveltal. He fucking did some damage though, for sure. So, uh, Seismitoad's back out here. I think Scald seems like a relatively good choice at the moment. And he switches out to his own Seismitoad. What is this? 
missed! <laughs> oh, I should play a Ditto team. I want to play a full team of Dittos. Uh, let's go for the Scald again, why not? He sets up his rocks way, way late in the game for rocks, but it is going to destroy my Masquerade on every switch in. So I'll go for Earthquake there, because it is a little stronger than Scald, and uh, it's able to KO him. It's probably a surprise KO to him. <laughs> I do hope. So I'm going to Toxic this thing. I won't waste time going for the burn, because it does hit like a truck, and I just want to get it out as quick as possible. Um, and then, yeah, I guess I'll go for Scald and kind of sacrifice my Seismitoad. But that's going to be just fine. If he keeps going for High Jump Kick, actually, I could switch into Masquerade and uh, tick away a couple more turns of Toxic. So we'll try that now. And it's going to get right by Stealth Rocks, but it could probably survive a High Jump Kick since it's four times resisted. No! He goes for Acrobatics and destroys me. So that's fine. We'll lose two pokes instead of just the one to his Halucha. But we are still going to be in the lead. Um, or no, we'll be tied. I mean, technically. My pokes are fresh. This is a blind switch for him. And I know everything he has, so I'm going to switch into... I don't know. I kind of... No. I kind of want to put Vaporeon in, but I kind of hate Vaporeon because it was an asshole in the last match. So sit there, Vaporeon. Reggie Ice has got this shit. Get out there, Reggie! And, uh, Soul Rock is probably not going to be able to do too much, so I'm going to Rock Polish up. Yeah, he goes for a Will-O-Wisp, which wouldn't even matter too much. And, uh, now I've got Double Speed, so I'm going to smash this thing with an Ice Beam, Focus Blast the next thing that comes in, and that'll be the end. This has been Pokemon Days. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. If you did enjoy, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next time, friends. Bye-bye! One, two, three, four Goodbye, goodbye, see you again Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends